Welcome back to our PC Short. I'm Jonah Johnson. So I wanted to put out an alert this week. So red crown rot of soybeans, you may sound familiar to, been educating you about this the last couple of years. This disease of soybeans, a very aggressive uh, pathogen, has been confirmed in Ohio and Delaware County. Right now we're near the end of August 2025, and Ohio State University Plant Pathology has isolated this and confirmed this pathogen. Um, this disease, new to Ohio, is a vascular disease of the soybean plant. It breaks down the bottom, the stem, the crown, and the roots of the stem, and it very much resembles sudden death syndrome. So this pathogen uh, has been shown it can overwinter in Ohio, and it lives in the debris and residue. And so anytime we can get away from soybeans for a couple years will help that deterioration in the soil. But for most of us on the rotation, that's not going to be uh, efficacious. And so when we think about finding this pathogen as you're scouting your fields here at the end of August, anytime you see the chlorosis, necrosis, so the yellowing and browning of the leaves in between the veins on the soybean plant, very similar to what you know a sudden death looks like. Just don't assume that sudden death syndrome. You want to get out there, make sure you get out there and dig those plants and look for several things we'll go over here momentarily. And so when you're scouting those fields and you isolate those spots, low laying areas, wet areas you see damping off and deteriorating, you dig those plants up, you're gonna look for multiple things. So first off, you're gonna look for a reddening at the base of that plant. And then when you dig those plant roots up, you're gonna see some the parathesia or these little red spherical pinball looking type structures. And that's a really good indication that that's red crown rot of soybeans. And so cut the stems open, it's gonna have a deteriorated pith, uh, you know, similar to like brown stem rot and others, just minus the, the browning inside of the stem. Let us know if you find this. We'd like to get samples to the lab and confirm it. But if you see the characteristics, most likely that's gonna be this disease. And so again, very aggressive, something we need to manage best we can. There's no varietal uh, resistance right now. There are some varieties that may have a better tolerance. Um, when you think about moving around different fields, if you have this pathogen, we want to try to wash the equipment, flush out your combine, or if you know you have it, do it last and then clean your combine so we prevent moving this pathogen around. In regards to management right now, best case scenario, just like we do with sudden death syndrome, is a preventive measure with seed treatment. So Saltro, Alevo, and others you'll see on your screen are going to be some of our best alternatives. No foliar fungicides are gonna help us just like sudden death syndrome. And then when you find these plants out in the field, sudden death syndrome plants, they'll drop their leaves or red crown rot will retain your leaves. That's another good indication. So please let us know if you find this and we'll help you get samples to the lab and for affirmative identification. For more, follow us on pctnutrients.com. I'm Jonah Johnson. Thanks for watching.